We have exclusive video now of daredevils caught high atop one of the tallest buildings in New York City. The NYPD is now investigating this trio that breached security at the Bloomberg Tower over the weekend. CBS 2's Lisa Rosner live now on the Upper East Side with more on this. Lisa. Christina Maurice, one security expert I spoke with, calling this an epic lapse in security. We are standing at what's considered the courtyard entrance to the tower on 59th Street near Lexington Avenue. Now, I want to show you where sources tell us these trespassers entered. They say they entered through the door on the far right, which is the entrance to the residential side of the tower. It's known as the Bloomberg Building because most of the first 32 floors house Bloomberg LP, the former mayor's software firm. The remaining floors sitting atop that are private condos under a separate name with a spire sitting on top. That's where the trespassers went as exclusive video from a CBS2 camera mounted up their shows. The team of three is standing on the metal structure 50 stories high, 800 plus feet in the air. One adjusts a selfie stick. At one point, a man appears to look at the camera, then pulls a handkerchief halfway up his face. He's an idiot because he's dangerous not only himself, but you know, he's giving, he's allowing other people to think, yeah, it's cool, let's go and do it. I think it's thrill seeking, it's something that people like to do nowadays. It kind of calls into question just how good your security is and how good any of our security is in any of the in any of our buildings. CBS2 alerted the NYPD about the daredevil seen after 5 p.m. Saturday on top of 731 Lexington Avenue. Two days later, the NYPD is combing social media to track the trio down, telling us this is an active investigation. Security expert Manny Gomez says it's a matter of when, not if, they are caught. And we have thousands and thousands of cameras. If these people got in so easily to the top of the building, uh, what people with bad intentions could do the same. But how did they get into the building is what no one seems to be able to answer. A man by the name of Vic Invades calls himself a rooftopper and has been on top of buildings like this before to take pictures. It's really not that complicated. You basically have to just dress apart and then just, you know, make your way in. These people are sort of like breaking grounds, you know, like, like they're showing that things are possible. These people are not criminals. These people do not do things, you know, solely just for adrenaline. They do it so that they can share with the community. We're told Vornado Realty owns the property. They did not get back to us with a comment, nor did the managers of the condominium complex, which is known as One Beacon Court. That's the latest from the east side. Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News.